Hi guys, uh, today I want to do a short video on how to gear your Lightning Monk. Uh, I'm going to show you what gear I'm currently using and why I'm using those pieces in particular, and what other pieces I'm currently after that the game hasn't been nice enough to drop for me yet. Uh, so let's get straight into it. I'm currently using the Eye of the Storm as my helm. Um, it's a legendary spirit stone, so it's monk only, and it rolls anywhere between 15 to 30% extra lightning skill damage. Um, as you can see, I've got 26% here, which is, is very, very powerful. Um, I wouldn't recommend using anything below about 20% if you've got another decent helm um, with perhaps higher dexterity or higher survivability. Uh, and as you can see, my dexterity roll isn't great, and it needs some tweaking in places uh, to make it as good a helm as it can be. Uh, I just need to get that crit hit chance up to 6%. But overall, there's, there's no better helm to use than Eye of the Storm because of that extra lightning skill damage. Uh, now, as an amulet, I'm currently using Ouroboros. Uh, almost any amulet in the game will do. Some are slightly better than others. Um, like, for instance, you can get the immune to arcane damage uh, amulet, which is Countess Julia's cameo, um, which will make you totally immune to arcane damage and to heal you for 24 um, to 28%, depending on how it rolls, of the damage that it would normally deal to you. Uh, on this one, I've got crit hit damage and crit hit chance, which are uh, the two bread and butter damage um, stats that you want on any item really for a lightning monk uh, and I've rolled vitality onto it just because I've been up in torments re recently and uh, I need a little bit more survivability and as you can see from my eye of the storm I haven't got uh, any survivability stats on it at all so uh, I've rolled it onto uh, my necklace instead however what you will want ideally when your survivability is fine perhaps you've got a high enough paragon level that you've got loads of points into life percent or vitality um, is you will want dexterity, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and lightning skill percent damage on your amulet. That's what you want um, in particular. So really you're just looking for that necklace, which is a pretty good roll that you can happily put lightning skill damage on, or everybody has lightning skill damage on, as well as crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and some dexterity for you. Uh, added bonus to this one is how it's rolled, is I've got health globes and potions as well, uh, which helps me with transcendence and my life by spirit spent. Uh, for shoulders, I'm currently using Mantle of the Upside Down Sinners. Now, there's not really any other shoulders uh, that you can use. There will be some other shoulders which will perhaps um, have better roles in ways of uh, dexterity, survivability, uh, life, um, cyclone strike damage if you're using a cyclone spec. Uh, however, because there's no other fantastic shoulders, this is a slot that we can pretty much use for a set piece which is why I'm using uh, the Mantle of the Upside Down Sinners at the moment. Uh, I have had a couple of good Death Watch mantles, and I did have a particularly good pair of homing pads that I could have actually used that would have been a DPS increase. Um, however, because they are not... Um, because the, the shoulder slot isn't as great as some of the other pieces are for a Lightning Monk, like your belt slot, for instance, you can use this to, uh, to get offset bonus. Uh, as a chest, I'm currently using Heart of the Crashing Wave, which is yet again another part of Raymond of the Thousand Storms. Um, this rolled pretty well for me. Dexterity, Vitality, uh, and then you either want Life Percentage, Additional Armor. I rolled Reduced Damage from Elites onto it, which is the highest roll, 11%. Um, and then as your secondary, ideally you want um, a resistance that you're stacking for one with everything. Like I have Fire Resistance there, and that's also um, rolled Reduces Damage from Melee Attacks. For any chest piece that you have, you want three sockets. Having 280 Dexterity Gems, 280 Vitality Gems, or 78 All Res Gems is miles, miles too strong. Uh, you really, really want three sockets, and that, that should be a priority. should really be Dexterity, Vitality, three sockets as your primary. If you are unlucky enough to only roll three primaries, then you definitely want Dex to Vitality and Sockets to be those. Uh, for my gloves, I'm currently using Pride of the Invoker. Um, the only reason I'm using these is because they were such a good roll. Um, they rolled 46% crit hit damage out, out of uh, a total of 50. Um, the crit hit chance uh, was only 8%, so I re-rolled it to 10% on there. The vitality is one off maximum, and the dexterity is a pretty good roll uh, from 636 to 750, so it's landed itself um, just in the, the slightly higher end there. Uh, so they're just some really strong gloves at the moment. Um, I was farming for the Gloves of Worship, however I did get through in total about uh, 45 to 50 bags and I didn't get them. And then when they um, they fixed the bug where Fleeting and Empowered was lasting an hour, um, I just haven't decided to get them. Uh, ideally I shall be using uh, Fists of Thunder, 
um, and I'll get on to why um, I'll be using uh, Fists of Thunder uh, once I, I show you one of my rings. Uh, as the braces, I'm currently using the Vorsician arm guards. Uh, the only reason I'm using these is, uh, yet again, they, they didn't roll too badly. Dexterity and Vitality are both uh, pretty high rolls. The crit hit chance is only 4.5%, which is the lowest that it can roll for braces. Um, my damage hasn't suffered too much, and I've managed to roll 18% lightning skill damage onto my braces. Uh, ideally, though, you will want 6%, or at least 5.5% crit hit chance, because of how powerful crit hit chance is for monks. Um, but what you will want, ideally, as a bracer, is you will want the strong arm braces. Uh, the reason we want to use strong arm braces is because we should be using Deadly Reach with Scattered Blows as our spirit generator. Um, and with Deadly Reach, on your third hit, there's a 50% chance for you to knock enemies up. If you knock enemies up, even though strong arm braces says enemies knocked back take additional damage for a certain amount of time, it also counts for knockups. Um, so strong arm braces with deadly reach will cause anyone to be knocked up by your deadly reach to take additional damage. Um, so we're using our spirit generator, um, we're knocking them up, and then we're lashing tail and kicking them for anywhere between 30 to 35 percent, depending on how your strong arm braces roll additional damage for a certain amount of time. Uh, for your belt, there's only really one belt that you should be using as a lightning monk, and it's Thunder God's Vigor. Uh, it's yet again, it's the only belt which rolls lightning skill damage. Um, I managed to gamble this one, and it's um, it came out really, really well. Uh, I believe that the unique on it, the uh, the blocking, dodging, or being hit causes you to discharge bolts of electricity that deal a certain amount of weapon damage as lightning. I believe that only rolls as high as 130% and rolls as low as 110%. So we got a pretty good roll on that as well. Uh, it came with the lightning skills deal 15% more damage, which is the max roll on that as well. 4 SM dexterity, which is pretty high. 494 vitality, which is only 6 off and I managed to roll 15% life onto it from armor. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, for the legs coming using Depth Diggers, uh, I got these a little while ago. Um, they had such good rolls on them, Dexterity, Vitality, almost max all res, uh, some life after kill and two sockets onto it. Um, so that was, that was really good. I did have to roll the two sockets onto there from uh, an additional armor bonus, so unfortunately I can't re-roll uh, a secondary to uh, to something a little bit nicer, um, or try and get a little bit higher dexterity roll. But they're they're pretty good, and I've had those for um, about a week and a half now. It was one of the uh, the very early things that I managed to gamble from Kadala before even the legendary um, rates were changed. Uh, so I've been using that for for quite a while, and they seem to be doing the job. Uh, ideally, though, you're going to want like a uh, inner temperance um, or or equivalent leggings. Um, the hex leggings are also pretty good. Uh, you could get the um, the Scales of the Serpent, which are for the Raiment of the Thousand Storms set. Um, but ideally you want Inner's Temperance uh, as your legs, because they come with a base movement speed. And if you can sacrifice the primary to get the movement speed as well, um, then it can be pretty good until you get to that Paragon level where they're maxed out. As an end game item though, uh, Inner's Temperance isn't as good if it's got movement speed on it, but you can always reforge out of the movement speed, as it's going to be capped in your Paragon points anyway. Uh, for my two rings, I'm currently using... Uh, the Ring of Royal Grandeur, the only reason I'm using this at the moment is because I've got three pieces of the Raiment of Thousand Storms, and by using the Ring of Royal Grandeur, it reduces the number of set items I need uh, to obtain a set bonus. Because I've only got three, and I'm using the Ring of Royal Grandeur, it grants me the four-piece set bonus, which is the 15% uh, additional lightning skill damage, and that's really, really powerful. Um, so what we've done is sacrificed a ring, pretty much. Uh, the rolls aren't too bad, the 61... To 122 damage isn't bad. 5% uh, attack speed, yet again, isn't bad. Would have been a lot better if it was crit hit damage. And the crit hit chance is the lowest uh, it can be at the moment. But I'm going to keep re rolling that until I get uh, uh, at least 5.5, but hopefully uh, the maximum of 6% there. And in my other, uh, on my other finger, I'm using Leoric's uh, Signet at the moment. It rolled pretty well. Uh, I'm still trying to get the, um, the black damage on it to roll to. Uh, some crit hit damage. Uh, it's got life per hit on it as well, and it's got my stacking resistance for one with everything. So I'm currently using that um, just because of, of how strong that is uh, defensively for me. Uh, as boots, I'm currently using the eight demon boots, which yet again are part of the Raiment of Thousand Storms. Uh, it didn't have any vitality on it, so I've had to reforge into vitality. These are the boots you want to be using really in the end, unless you can obtain the four set piece bonus. Um, 
without using the boots, in which case I would recommend perhaps using fire walkers um, or ice climbers, uh, one of the two, and they'll be really strong. Uh, as I said, this didn't roll vitality onto it, so I had to re-roll out of life regen onto vitality, but ideally it would have dexterity, vitality, and all res, and you can roll the movement speed out for uh, lashing tail kick damage um, if you're following um, my lightning monk guide exactly. It has health globes and potions grant a certain amount of life on it as well, so that helps with transcendence uh, and your life per spirit spent. So overall, it's, it's not a bad roll, uh, but it would have been nice if it had vitality on it, and I will be reforging that to get a, a little bit higher vitality as the game decides to give me the minimum roll uh, of 416. Um, for weapons, um, there's been been a slight change with uh, the priority for Lightning Monk weapons, and it was literally over the past day. Um, for those that are aware, um, Shard of Hate got nerfed. And for those that aren't aware, Shard of Hate got absolutely ruined. Um, what, ha what was happening is that Shard of Hate was resetting its proc uh, for dual wielders. Uh, you would hit with Shard of Hate, it would proc uh, and do its insane power damage, um, which was its unique. Uh, and then by hitting with your other weapon being a dual wielder, it would reset the proc timer uh, on Shard of Hate. Now, apparently this wasn't working as intended, so they hotfixed it last night. So Shard of Hate is no longer our major uh, weapon. It's no longer the weapon that we, we must have for endgame Lightning Monks. Um, so at the moment, it would be apparent that uh, Odin's Son is, uh, is probably the best Lightning Monk weapon at the moment. Uh, its proc actually scales with lightning skill damage. I don't know whether this is working as intended at the moment, but uh, we have tested it um, just to make sure that it is. But the uh, the proc to cause the chain lightning on hit is scaling currently with lightning percent damage. So if you do get hold of one or you have got hold of one, build that lightning monk up, get that lightning skill damage, uh, you'll get very, very high procs of it. Um, seeing Odin some procs for a 10 million plus, which is um, like the equivalent of a... Um, of a non uh, lacking tail gig or, or something similar. And in your other hand, uh, generally you're going to want either Thunder Fury because its proc is so strong. Uh, failing Thunder Fury, a Wong Kim Lao would be pretty good um, because of the additional lightning skill damage on it as well. Um, if you do have a Shard of Hate, then it isn't bad. It won't proc as often. Uh, but if you're just relying on something to do massive damage with a proc, I'm currently using the Mad Monarch Scepter. Um, the after killing 10 enemies, it releases a poison nova that deals uh, a very, very high percentage of weapon damage as poison. Um, I've I've hit almost three quarters of uh, an elite pack's life on Torment 2 using that proc, um, so it's very, very strong. Uh, obviously, you can't you can't exactly time it. It does come up um, a little icon in your buff bar uh, saying how many stats you've got. Um, and once it shows 9, the next enemy you kill will release that Nova, and it does do a lot of damage. Um, but I would, to be honest, I would currently use that over Shard of Hate just because of the power of its proc. Um, Shard of Hate is still roughly strong, uh, but I will, I will find the blue post and put a link to the blue post um, in the description below so you can see the change of the Shard of Hate, uh, and unfortunately it has made it a um, not as much of a priority anymore uh, for Lightning Monks. Uh, so this is the gear I'm currently using. As I said, um, uh, I've shown you what gear uh, I have, um, how I'm currently altering it, and what pieces I'm after. Uh, and hopefully this has shown you what uh, what sort of pieces you're after as well. And uh, hopefully if you get a piece that you're not sure about, you think I could perhaps reforge this to this, um, then, then hopefully that will guide you as well. Um, if you do have any questions at all, uh, leave a comment below, or, um, or send me a message on YouTube. Or send me a message in game, you can find my um, my battle tag uh, in the bottom right hand so corner of your screen now. Um, thanks very much for watching guys, if you do like the video, give it a like below. Subscribe to the channel, um, I'll be doing a couple more videos um, about me personally, uh, my gaming history, uh, and other bits and pieces once I reach 100 subscribers. Um, so let's get there, see how interesting those videos are, um, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.